Hi again. This is our Laveo dry flush toilet. It fits perfectly in our shower, as you can see. Uh, it works it works relatively well. Uh, we're happy with it. Um, pros and cons. Pros are going to be we can move the toilet wherever we want. Uh, obviously, for a shower, we have to remove the toilet. And we just put it right out here. Um, you don't have to pump, plumb a black water tank. You don't have to dump. Uh, there's a lot of pros. You don't have to deal with composting. Uh, and you can empty it and just throw it in the trash. Cons are, it's expensive. It's an expensive device. So like $900 to $1,000, depending on where you buy it from. I've seen them up to $1,100. Um, the cartridges are very expensive. Uh, per flush, depending on where you buy it, it's going to be about $1.50 to $1.75 a flush, give or take. It's an expensive flush. Um, dealing with dumping it is not that terrible, uh, but it is a little bit because of smell, which I'll get into in a second. Um, this device, this company claims that it's odorless. And sometimes it is and sometimes it isn't, unfortunately. Uh, just the honest truth is is that sometimes it smells bad. And it's just a fact. Uh, and, and there's not a lot of information online talking about the fact that it can smell bad. Uh, probably because people don't like talking about this. And I can understand why. And I don't really like talking about it either. But if you're on the fence about it, you need to know... Uh, an honest review. So here's the deal. I'm just going to flat out just talk about pee and poo, and that's just the way it is. If you decide, I'm just going to show you. If you decide to pee and poo in here, you can see the videos. It, it spins around four times, and then the air sucks the new bag in, or it comes around out of this cartridge here. It'll pull itself down, which is really neat. But if you decide to pee with your poo, uh, there can be leakage out of the swirl. Uh, when it when it swirls and it sucks back down, there's a little, a little swirl where it twisted four times. Pee can leak out of there. Well, I can tell you that pee mixed with poo is poo pee. And it smells bad, to say the least. It stinks. So, um, their pee powder doesn't really work very well. We don't like it. And if you decide you want to pee only, well, pee can smell bad too. And if you use the odor, the, the pee powder, it doesn't smell that great. And you don't really want to flush it because, well, it's $1.50, $1.75 to flush pee. So I recommend uh, possibly thinking about a urine diverter system. Uh, not going to really get into that right now, but you can actually place something in the front of this toilet and divert your urine so you don't have to keep it in this toilet. So you can get creative. Just get some ideas. Uh, put something there, divert the urine, and don't waste a flush. And don't cause poo pee. Because poo pee is gross and it stinks. Uh, sometimes if you do that, you will end up having to flush twice, which, well, or even three times. Yeah, we've been in a situation where we had to flush it three times. So three times a dollar fifty or dollar seventy-five. That is one expensive bathroom situation. <laughs> so uh, we try to keep pee to the absolute bare minimum in this situation, um, and it works a lot better when you don't have pee leaking out of that hole, uh, that twist. So you're going to notice that I have a seal here that does not come with the unit. And the toilet's clean, so don't worry. I have it here. It's a window seal. It's a foam. Got it Lowe's. And I've sealed around here. And I sealed around here. And 
it causes a, a perfect seal here, which uh, seals in the smell, which is great. Um, it's unfortunate we had to do this because, of course, the, again, they claim that it's odorless, but it's not. Uh, and it doesn't matter how many times you've used it, even on the first time. If it's a brand new cartridge and you just went one time, it can smell bad. It's just the way it is. So the seals help if you decide to do that. I actually put it on the back here as well because we have it butted up against the tile. And I actually put it on the bottom of the unit as well uh, so it doesn't make contact with the tile and scratch or mess up our tile or grout. So it's, it's on a little bouncy foam piece so it doesn't damage anything. So it's... <clears throat> Another con is, is that it's a bit heavy. There's nowhere to lift on the front or the back. I kind of have to stick my hand behind the back here where there's no handle. I have to stick my hand kind of in here. There's a little notch area somewhere down here, right there. It's not in the best place. They What they should do is put a, uh, a little notch, a better notch here. There is a little bit of a something but it's not enough in the mold they should put a notch for your fingers and in the front and the back because people are going to be moving this around that's the whole purpose of this thing is that it's portable if we wanted a permanent toilet we would have gotten a permanent toilet but people want to move this around they move it in and out of a shower and there's no handles so that's an inconvenience for sure all in all we are relatively happy with the unit oh another con is going to be when the unit, when you when you flush, and it blows the, the bag. You'll have to look at the video if you're not familiar with this. But it blows up the bag all the way. So the bag comes all the way up. The toilet's open. The bag will protrude, protrude out of this uh, lid about an inch or two. Sometimes if you don't go to the bathroom in the right spot on this toilet, it will push up your bodily fluids up and outside of where it's not supposed to go. We have found that if you go to the bathroom on, on the little twist that's in the toilet, you may have a bad experience. So you have to really know how to use this toilet. Um, it's just trial and error, and it's camping life. Welcome to it, if you're not familiar with it. Um, all in all, we're pretty happy with it. They could make it better, uh, but that's our honest review. If you have any specific questions, I will be glad to be honest and, and tell you. Uh, I'm not really sure what else to say about the unit. We have barely ever have to charge it. You only have to charge it for once every couple months for two hours it's completely unplugged and on a battery which is really excellent so you don't have to worry about that uh you get about if they claim 15 to 17 flushes let's just say 15 flushes they also say that when you the red line appears which you'll see in the bag is that a red line starts to appear that you have one more flush that is not correct you have no more flushes and I can tell you, I've been through a ton of cartridges. When that little red line appears, you have no more flushes. But for some reason, they say you've got one more flush left. You've got zero on every okay, single cartridge. Flush, okay, like my wife just said, which is true. You have a half a flush left. So that means it'll pull the bag. It'll start to twist, but there's nothing left that's coming out. So I don't know if that's a manufacturing issue or... Or what, but they claim uh, that there's another flush left and there's not. And let me tell you, the first time that that red line appeared, I thought that there was one flush left. That was a bad situation. <laughs> okay, so so no flushes left. Red line appears, you're done. Take yeah. the cartridge they, out. FAQ websites. Yeah. About two more flushes. Oh, yeah. The, my wife just said she's on the website right now. On the FAQ of the Leveo website, it says there's about two flushes left after the red line appears. Well, there's zero. And we've, again, this is 
we've ordered from multiple sources for the cartridges and they're genuine Laveo uh, refill cartridges from multiple sources over a long period of time. There has never once been one more flush after the red line appears. So I don't know what they're thinking with that. Uh, so drop a line in the comments if you have any questions. I'm happy to answer any if you have. Uh, changing the bag out is easy. Changing the cartridge out is easy. Um, that's pretty much it. See you in the next video.